In the Andes mountain range of landlocked Bolivia, the region's rivers and lakes provide enough water for all. But in the town of Cochabamba, it came at a terrible price. Between population growth, pollution, and aging infrastructure, many parts of our water planet are actually running out of clean water. Los políticos empujaron a una solución del tema del agua hacia un proyecto que es la perforación de 20 kilómetros, pero una condición del Banco Mundial era de la empresa operadora, distribuidora de agua, debería privatizarse. Labor leader Oscar Oliveira lives in Cochabamba, Bolivia's third largest city. He remembers when the city's public water supply was taken over by a private company, Aguas del Tunari. Se elevaban las tarifas de agua potable entre un 35 y 300%. Owned by an international consortium, including American engineering giant Bechtel, Aguas del Tunari began to upgrade the city's dilapidated water and sewage systems. But in January of 1999, all of Cochabamba went into sticker shock. We have these proofs about the increase in the rates, and we have the case to this family who in the beginning pay 200, and with Aguas del Tunari, they has to pay 600. Decíamos entonces, esto no puede ser, porque la, el sueldo de una persona aquí en Bolivia está a los 400 pesos, donde buscar el pan de cada día. From a human rights perspective, access to a community's own water, a, a person's water that is on their land is, is a fundamental right. And to deny people access to their own water is basically denying people life. The World Bank, which had pushed the Bolivian government for water privatization, showed little sympathy for those hardest hit by the rate hikes. In June 1999, the bank stated, no subsidies should be given to ameliorate the increase of water tariffs in Cochabamba. Oliveira is a key spokesman and organizer for the Coalition for the Defense of Water and Life, an organization made up of community members, labor unions, subsistence farmers, and environmentalists. Environmental activists and NGOs came together to organize opposition and talked and negotiated with government officials. Bechtel may have had control of the water, but not the people. In December, Cochabamba's water crisis reached the boiling point. El 4 de febrero, donde el campo se trasladó a la ciudad de una manera, una marcha absolutamente pacífica. El gobierno no entendió así y trajo soldados de otras partes del país para reprimir a la población. Coalition leaders told the huge crowd to disperse in an orderly manner, which they began to do. El ejército, la policía, fue bastante drástico con el pueblo. ¿Cómo van a matar a, a nuestra juventud? Bolivia's president, Hugo Banzer, declared martial law. A thousand police and soldiers descended on the crowd. Tear gas bombs and gunfire echoed through Cochabamba for two days, leaving one dead and 175 people injured. Y al día siguiente, la gente salió con más fuerza a las calles. Protest coordinators were rounded up and taken to a remote forest jail. Oscar Oliveira went underground. The night before, they had ransacked his house. They had kicked the door down. Live shots had been fired around his family. It was clear that the government was going to do everything in its power to neutralize Oscar, to neutralize the movement. But it was inconceivable, I think, for him to ever to take a step back, to turn back. From secure outposts across the Andes, coalition workers spread word over the internet, exposing Bechtel's involvement. After four months of protests, the Bolivian Congress met in emergency session and canceled Bechtel's contract. This victory, the first in history against water privatization, sets a global precedent. Today, the coalition is working to establish a reliable water system for Cochabamba. Queremos construir una democracia con justicia social para que nuestros hijos sigan disfrutando del agua, del aire y de todas las riquezas que están sobre nuestros pies y todos habían tenido un rol muy importante en esta guerra por el agua. For outstanding environmental achievement in South America, the 2001 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Oscar Oliveira of Cochabamba, Bolivia.